Um, those of you who... Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know, I know, I know, don't even say it. I've been away for way too long. It's been like a month and a half, if I could remember. But let's just move on. I'm back and things are up and running again. Hope you guys enjoy this video. As you can see by the title, this is my fresh face foundation routine something like that i haven't really figured out what i want to name it yet but yeah i think you're here because it's more or less a natural something that you can do in under 10 minutes so if you want to see how i got this look yes <laughs> then please continue to watch don't forget to like comment subscribe and join me on my makeup journey I'm Cheyenne Janelle, if I didn't say that before. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Prep um, and Prime. And I've already put moisturizer on my face. And I've already done my eyebrows as well because my eyebrows are in such a mess. I need to do them. But my eyebrow person that I go to she is, I don't know if she's on leave or something, or vacation, but every time I go, she's not there, so I'm just holding out, so I didn't want to do it on camera, because it takes a while when your eyebrows are growing out to do it on camera. Next, I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to spray it a little bit, and I'm going in with my Fit Me Concealer, Fit Me Foundation today. I'm so used to, what is wrong with me? This. And I'm going straight in on my face. And this is a new method that I have switched to because usually I will do my eyes first. But and I don't go too much under my eye because I'm gonna put concealer there, so I don't really go too much under there with foundation. Now it's time for concealer and I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey and I'm taking that and putting it under my eyes directly from the tube so I'm just going to squeeze it and this is what I do, simple I just do this and I like to squeeze it up first before I put it so I can see how much product is coming out instead of squeezing it while it's on my face so and I just like to do like these little just from left to right on my face then I'm gonna take my brush that same brush that I use the real techniques and I think this is the expert face brush if I'm not mistaken and I'm just buffing the highlight into the highlighted areas. If that makes sense, you know what I mean. <laughs> in, and then I take it outward and over my eye as well to conceal any discoloration on top of the eyelid. Once I'm done with that, it's time to set everything. I'm using the Sasha Matte Powder in the shade Ultra Matte Medium. But you can check the description box for any of the products that I'm using in this video. I'll put it in the description box. Um, I'm not using the Buttercup Setting Powder because of late, I've, I've, I don't know, I've just been finding that it's it's light and I, I, I like to experiment with different things guys so this is actually a, a regular one of Sasha's regular face powders and it's has a yellow undertone it's it has a yellow undertone it's literally like yellow I don't know if y'all could see but I don't want it to fall out 
but yeah so it has a yellow undertone and I just feel like it goes so well with my skin tone you know so I've been trying it out and I've been really liking it and it's not too too light and I love how it looks so I'm just using that to set all my um, you know highlighted areas where I've put concealer and to bake so putting that I don't usually like to do my forehead to actually put cream cream highlights on my forehead because I feel like my forehead is already sufficiently large <laughs> so I don't like to highlight that but I do set the center with the highlight powder so and then I go in with my regular skin tone color again from Sasha Now I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything out and dust away the excess powder. And this is basically it when you're done blending everything together and dusting away the excess. And yeah, this is my flawless foundation routine. It's really simple, really easy. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of something to the look to show you how you can rock it just the way it is and go out with it. So I'm gonna add mascara to my eyelid, eyelashes, my eyelids. <laughs> I'm gonna do a really light contour because you want it really natural so I'm going in with my contour palette and just dabbing it like once or twice and just lightly buffing it into my cheekbone area and use a little and you can always build it up especially when you're doing a natural look and I also use the contour powder to add something to my cheeks as well And I'm just contouring my forehead a little bit. I always contour my forehead. <laughs> and a little bit on my nose, just a little, little. Then I take some highlight and I lightly just, just dip it and dust a very little bit. Just so that when the sun hits or any light, you get that sheen, but you don't want to see it. So. Only when the sun hits you really get it, but you remember you don't really want it to be too noticeable Because it's a natural look. Same with your nose, you just add a little And guys, you can even add some to the inner corner of your eyes, a little bit on your brow bone So that's what I'm gonna do and you can really rock this look you know if you're going to the mall you're going to the park anywhere that you want to look you know good and do it in under 10 minutes this is the look so you get that fresh you know summer look you like you look awake and you know alive without being too overdone and then what I like to do is I like to just top it with some gloss don't need any lipstick even though you could do lipstick if you want to but i prefer gloss because everything else is so light so and it still has some color because it's in a pinky shade and 
and that's it guys this is my fresh foundation you know natural glowy I don't know how else to describe it look um, that you can get under 10 minutes and it's so pretty and I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe and all that fun stuff and I'll see you in my next video bye